Today we're looking at a powder shape draw tester from Mac Tools. It came with a battery cleaner or terminal cleaner. That way you can clean your post and then your terminals. Nice little case in there. Just drop it in there. And here's the box. And basically what it is, is to check uh, if you have a draw on your car. Basically you disconnect the battery, put one side to your battery, the other side to your cable, and then hook it up to your meter. And then all the uh, voltage is going to be going through your meter, that way you can measure your amp, your amp draw. That's the back side. And that's basically a picture on how do you use it. You got a switch, your meter. And then plug it to one side to the battery and one side to your cable. And then right here we have the tool, two clamps. It's got an inline fuse in here. This one, that's a 10 amp fuse. It's already in there. And it's got another one on the other side. So here's the switch, you turn it on and off. from Mac, Mac, and then that's your tool number. And here's another fuse. That's a seven and a half amp fuse. It's already in here. And then this side, you can hook it up there, clean to your meter, and then you can back probe it from here. If you wanna check voltage readings or something like that. So basically, I'm gonna show you kinda of how it works with uh, ohm meter with an ohm meter. I gotta set up on ohms, but when you use this on a car and your battery and all that stuff, you want to put it on amps. And th there's different meters, so make sure you know how to set it up on amps and everything when you're doing it. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna put it there and show you how the basically the switch is working on this thing. So basically, right there, we got a um, open circuit which the switch should be open right now because it's off. And then when we turn it on, we're gonna see a ohm reading right there. And that's because the switch is completing the circuit in there. As you can see, open and close the circuit right there. And we go back to open and then close the circuit. And that's how basically it works. You just gotta remember, use one goes to your battery, one to your cable, and then this can be set up directly into your meter, like this. And then one to your battery, one to your negative cable. And like I said, different meters are different, so make sure you know where to set it up, because if you set it on the wrong place, Right here, let's just do that. It's telling me that it's not right because we're on ohms. So if we go over here on amps, and make sure if we have an 87, the newest one that they have, it always goes to AC amps. So make sure you click on that and go to DC amps. That's what you want to be checking. So basically you can just set it up in here, just leave it there, and then go from your battery to your uh, terminal, battery, and then your terminal, and then all the amps are going to be going through your meter, and then you can check, that way you can check your draw on it, and if you wanted to do a voltage drop on it, I guess you could do that and back for whatever you need to do. Or even in one of these, you could check for like voltage or something like that. You can just do that and then set it on your voltage. And then you can turn it on and off, whichever you want to do. It's got different uses, so it's a nice little tool to have. It just depends if you need it or not. Thank you for watching.